was best at presentations, who was best at closing. I watched, I watched, then I duplicated. I watched, I watched, then I duplicated. Then I put my own spin on it. I'm currently attending a live Q&A via Zoom with 10x growth con speaker Danel Delgado. Danelle managed to build three six-figure businesses in two years. She knows her stuff. Your environment has to be set up to win. If it's a disaster everywhere, you're going to get confused and lose focus every single second because you can't find what you're looking for. It will be fixed before I go to bed so it's ready in the morning. But your environment has to be squared away. When I first got started, I had three jobs. I had three kids, three and under, three and two-year-old twins. It was a nightmare. It was crazy. So I encourage you to map out how much time are you just thinking? How much time are you having conversations? How much time are you taking actions? Guaranteed you're spending too much time in conversations and thoughts and not enough time in actions. She is right on point. So the best thing you can do when you're hurting is help someone else. It's what makes your pain go away. I, it, it's a perspective thing, okay? So look at it this way. I, I prayed for a really long time. Okay, I don't, I don't know if you're a person of faith on here or not. It doesn't matter. I'd love to be, I just want to be used. Like, I want to matter, right? Like, I want to do great things. Um, and then immediately the storms of life hit, right? Divorce, cancer, and all these kinds of things. I said, oh my gosh, I said, use me. And how better a way than give me something that 12.7 million people with get, you know, get every year. Don't get upset about having those things. Get excited that you know have a tool to reach somebody else, okay? It's perspective. Divorce. I don't like failing. That is not anything I ever saw coming in my entire life. I still am like, yeah, I didn't do everything right in that situation. That sucks. Guess what? Do you know how many single moms I can help because of my situation? It's perspective. So you have to look at it as the hurt is a situation to overcome so that you can serve more. Some people go, oh, I just need a bigger why. I need to find my why. No, your why was that you had breath and woke up. Like your day needed you. Whoever you were going to run into at the gas station or the, you know, shopping center or the school needed you to be great, not your kids. Your kids needed you long before you woke up. They need you to show up big. They need you to earn. They need you to work harder. And if you wanna work smarter, well then you have a group around you who's gonna help you help be accountable, right? Be held accountable. You don't even have to speak words in the right order. You get what I'm saying. I just needed one person to believe in me. It wasn't anybody who I cared about, but they still believed in me, so I went out and did it. I'm like, huh, I am awesome. I never knew. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. Bye. Thank you. I first learned of Danelle Delgado after hearing her speak at Grant Cardone's 10X Growth Con in March. She's awesome. A gym visit is long overdue. I've only been here twice in the last seven days. I don't usually come here on Thursday nights. I don't usually come here on any nights. I usually show up in the morning. I did legs two days ago, but I haven't done arms in a week. Ooh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I never go in the sauna, but I'm gonna try and see if I can last 10 minutes. <laughs> Damn, this place is crowded. I only gotta make it 10 minutes. Oh, I'm good, thank it's you. It's like an elevator, but hot. And we're not getting out. Why would anyone subject themselves to this tr fucking torture? Good thing germs can't survive in here because we're all breathing each other's hot air. Busting a sweat. It's the elevator to hell and it never stops. Oh, I found the cool corner. Maybe there's a rule about no talking in here and I just don't know it. Three minutes in. They should really have a card table or something. Five more minutes. 
Water, water, water. Oh, just one more minute. Time flies. Maybe 10 minutes is some wimp shit. Hopefully just enough to kill my flesh eating disease. That's highly contagious. No, just kidding. <laughs> this is the longest minute ever. My phone overheated just about the same time I did. It was that 11th minute.